Hello everyone. This day we're just going to do a wonderful yoga stretch to get you ready for your day. You can do this morning, evening, afternoon, but um, it's a great one to do when you're just first moving for the day, just really waking up your body. So let's go ahead and start on our hands and knees. We're just going to start with a big cat cow. Just arch the back, maybe shift the hips a little side to side, and just start to wake up that spine. Then we'll take a release, head and tailbone up. And again, arch the back, big cat stretch, breathe in. Exhale, release, lift your gaze, head and tailbone up. Let's take one more big cat stretch, breathe in. And then exhale, release that spine. Let's tuck our toes under, send our hips back, and then bend through the elbows, drop the chest, release the legs, slide them back, keep those toes tucked under, curl the chest up, lift through the heart, open and then push back through that downward dog, walk the feet out. So we're just doing a little wake up through that spine. So if you liked how we did that from the knees, you can always go back through your chaturanga on the knees, so maybe shift forward, maybe drop the knees, lower that chest, curl up, and then maybe keep the knees tucked, maybe go through a little child's pose and then extend through downward dog, or if you're ready for a little more wake up, come through a plank, lower chaturanga, curl up through that cobra, upward dog, and then back through that downward dog. Let's do that one more time, whichever variation you choose. Plank, lower chaturanga, lift, curl up, open that heart, and then downward dog. Let's just walk those feet out a few more times, and then we're gonna raise our right leg up nice and high, big stretch, breathe in. Exhale, lunge that right foot up to the top of the mat, pivot the back heel, warrior one. Arms are high, we're gonna pull those elbows down, breathe in. Exhale, raise and straighten and pull down, breathe in. Exhale, raise and straighten. One more, breathe in. Exhale, raise, straighten, and then lengthen out over that front leg. And just hold, find that little triangle shape through the leg. Breathe in and out here. Once we're ready, let's wake up through that left shoulder. Start to circle out that left arm. And reverse, taking that arm the other way. Good, and then when you're ready, bring the left hand down to maybe the right foot or ankle maybe the mat and raise up that right arm. And we're gonna add some circles here. Right arm circling as well. Very good, breathe in. Exhale, hold, raise that arm high. See if you can find your balance, bend through the front and come up to a high lunge twist. Back heel lifts. You can take your hand to your low back arch here. Maybe take your hand to your ankle. Breathe and then raise both arms. Let's keep that back heel lifted, palms in front of the heart. And then we'll take a left elbow outside of that right and find a little twist. Wake up, open up that top arm. Breathe in, maybe wrap the pose if you want a little more challenge. Great job. And then we're gonna bring both hands around that front foot again. Flex through the front foot, push the back heel back, chest over the thigh, breathe in. Exhale, bend into the front knee, circle the arms back, warrior two. Flip the right palm, arch back, peaceful warrior. Breathe in. Then exhale, taking a side angle, either elbow to thigh, arm by ear, maybe hand to the mat or maybe wrapping the pose. Very good, and then we're gonna bring our hands back around that front foot, release the back knee, release the toes. Sweep that right hand back, release those left toes. Maybe hold the twist here, maybe pull the back foot in. Take some deep breaths, and then as we release, we're gonna bring both hands inside that right foot, heel to walk that right foot out to the corner, and just come down to the elbows, finding your lizard pose, or maybe letting your chest drop a little deeper. So remember for lizard, your heel is on the edge of the mat, your toes are kind of pointing off the mat. Some of us may not be down this low, so if you're up a little higher, that's just fine. But just releasing into that outer right hip, maybe the front of that left, just take one to two more breaths. Breathe in. Very good, let's exhale. Slowly bring our hands back under the shoulders. Tuck the left toe, lift the knee, raise the right leg up again, breathe in. And then exhale, draw the right knee up towards the chest, engage that core, exhale, push back. And again, right knee up towards the chest. Exhale, push back. Just one more time, bring that right knee up towards the chest, let's hover, and then release the thigh. Lift the chest, open up, find that pigeon pose. And let's come forward over that right leg. Relax, breathe into that hip, breathe into that glute, that outer thigh. Just wake up any of those tight places there through that outer right hip. Especially in the morning, just waking up the hips is so important just to feel ready for our day. One more breath in, let's exhale, come up. And we're gonna swing our left leg around. 
we're gonna swing that left leg around. Right arm comes up and we're gonna twist our left elbow against, I'm sorry, that right elbow against our left knee. Gaze over our back shoulder. Maybe even wrap this pose if you wish. Very good job. And then as we unwind, we're gonna take this left foot, stamp it just nice and firm into the mat, bring our hands forward, and as we uncurl, push the right leg up. So this is our standing split variation. We're gonna tuck that right knee behind the left ankle, and then exhale, push those legs apart, waking up the ankles, the knees, and the hip joints in, and pressing apart. And again, draw those knees in, breathe in. Exhale, push, push, push those legs apart. Two more, breathe in. Exhale, push, push, push those legs apart. One more, and then lower that right foot next to the left. Hug the legs for a moment, breathe in. Then exhale, reverse one back all the way back up in here. Exhale, big forward fold again. Lift the gaze, lengthen that spine, monkey pose. Then the knees, hands around the feet, lunge, step on, jump, or hop back into plank. And once we're here, we're gonna just hold three breaths, breathe in. Exhale, and again, breathe in. Exhale, one more breath in. Now let's walk our feet really close together. As we exhale, roll to the side of the right foot, raise the left arm, just find that little balance. Feel free to find a tree or a star variation if you prefer. And then come back through center. Let's try left side. Find that side plank, maybe a tree, maybe a star variation. Hold that breath, breathe in. Exhale and release and come back center. And lower chaturanga and curl up, cobra, upward dog. And let's go into a little child's pose for a moment. Breathe in. <sighs> Exhale, take that little snake through. Slide down to the chest, curl up. Little cobra or upward dog. And then exhale back through that downward dog. Walking those feet out. Very good job. Keep that breath going. Deep breaths in and out. And then left leg sweeps up nice and high. Big stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, lunge that left foot up to the top of the mat. Hit at the back heel, warrior one. Let's draw those elbows down, breathe in. Exhale, straighten the leg, reach up, and again, draw down, breathe in. Exhale, straighten, reach up, two more times, breathe in. Exhale, straighten, reach up, one more time, breathe in. Exhale, straighten, reach up, and then turning into our warrior two. Take a moment, breathe in. Exhale, let's take it all the way down with those hands and face the leg chest over the thigh. This time we're taking our triangle pose open with the right arm lifted, left hand down, and begin circling through the right shoulder. Just take those nice big circles. Breathe in. Exhale, reverse. Circle that arm the other way. Great job. One more breath. And then take that right arm all the way down. Square the hips. Face that left leg. Chest fall over the left shin. Deep breaths in and out. Really feel that release. And then when you feel ready, right hand is going to move either to the left foot, ankle, knee, or the mat. Raise the left arm. Same thing. We're going to add those circles. Just continue circling here. Good. And reverse. Take that circle the other way. One. And two. And three. Breathe in. Exhale. Bend into the front knee. This is that tricky one. We're going to find the high lunge twist. So we're going to lift the back heel, pivot it up. Maybe take our hand to our low back, arch back. Maybe take our hand back towards that ankle or thigh. Arch, 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 breathe in. Great job, and then exhale. Coming back around, warrior two. Let's take that left arm back. So we've turned back, uh, unwinding that twist. Take peaceful warrior. And then side angle, either elbow to thigh, arm by ear. Maybe hand to the mat. Maybe wrapping the pose here. Now with the twist on the other side, I did forget that wrap, so we're gonna go back to it. So if you're wrapping here, now we just unwind. We're gonna come back to that high lunge. And one more time, right elbow, outside of the left knee. Twist, open, and then maybe even wrap here if you wish. So now we're even out on both sides. Just take a moment, breathe. I know this is a tough one, inhale. And then as we exhale, coming back around center. Very good. Let's just release that right knee down, release the toe, release the front of this hip. See if you'd like to take your left arm up and back. Maybe pull that back foot in. Breathe into the front of that right hip. Couple more breaths in and out. And then when you're ready, release. And let's just bring both hands inside and walk that left foot out to the side. So left toes are pointing out to the left. Heel is on the mat. I'm gonna shift over that right hip. Lizard pose, maybe staying high on the hand. Maybe coming down to the elbows or maybe coming a little lower. 
Just resting here, feeling that hip release. Deep breaths in and out. Beautiful here. Let's come back up to our hands. Tuck that back to under and sweep that left leg up and back again. Breathe in. And then exhale. Let's just draw the left knee up. Hover. Engage that core. Exhale. Push it back. And again, draw that knee up. Hover. Exhale. Push that leg back. And one more time. Draw the knee up. Hover. Exhale. Push back. And this time we're going to take that left knee up. Bring it into that pigeon. Releasing through the front of that right hip. Releasing through that left glute and thigh, lift your heart, lift your chest, and then let's just exhale, come over that left leg. Really beautiful job here, just take a few moments. Really breathe into that outer hip, that glute, just releasing. Once you feel ready, let's take that back leg, swing it around, find our twist. So right leg comes over the left. You can always extend the bottom leg if you prefer. We're going to take left elbow around that right knee, gaze over our back shoulder. Maybe wrap the pose if you wish here. Just feel that release. All right, once we feel ready, unwinding, stomp that right foot down, hands around the foot. We're going to push the left leg up. Don't worry about how high the leg goes. Just make sure you feel that stretch through that standing leg, okay? We're going to tuck left knee behind the right. Feel those joints starting to stretch through the ankle, knee, and hip, and then stretch apart. Draw in, breathe in. Exhale, stretch those legs apart. Two more times, draw in, breathe in. Exhale, stretch those legs apart. One more time, breathe in. Exhale as we stretch the legs apart, hold. And then from here, just slowly release that left foot. Forward fold over both legs, breathe in. Exhale, reverse swan dive up. Palms come in front of the heart, and we're going to do a standing balance here. So right foot can come up just so that foot is by the ankle. I'm gonna bring it up to the calf or up to the thigh for tree pose. So take a moment in tree. And I want to offer you guys a challenge today, which is our growing tree. So option to just stay right here or shoulders roll back, chest is open, find that stability. And then release your foot from your thigh. Sink everything in, melt, kind of like we did for that standing split. We melt in and then we stretch away. So you're just going to pull everything in, breathe in. And then exhale, stretch away as far as you can feel comfortable going. Breathe in. Exhale, stretch away. One more time, breathe and pull in. Exhale, this time as you stretch away, maybe hold. So some of you may be holding out here, some may be even higher, wherever you're at, just find that balance. Breathe and feel strong. Exhale, let that leg go, let's switch sides. So tree pose, you may just hold here the whole time. Toe down by the ankle, maybe foot to your calf, or maybe all the way up to that thigh. You're welcome to just stay here, checking in with that balance, or shoulders roll back, chest open. Sink mountain, breathe in. Exhale, reaching out. Pull in. Exhale, reaching out. So you can reach out with those limbs low, medium, or high. The point is to extend away from the body. Pull in. Exhale, reach. Let's do one more. Breathe in. Exhale, reach wherever you are. See if you can hold. Find that beautiful balance. Just take a few moments. Feel strong on your standing leg. Breathe in. Exhale. Press one more breath in. We can do it. Exhale, release that foot. Palms in front of the heart. Beautiful job. Let's start. Back up at the top of our mat. Inhale. Exhale, sit into chair pose. Sitting all the way down until you can find your seat and come into boat pose. Now, if getting down that way was a little challenging, you can always modify. Once you're in boat, once you find your seat, kind of lengthen the shoulders back. You may try to hug the knees in, kind of find your balance. Maybe lift the legs halfway, maybe all the way. And then once you feel ready, just let go and start to pull the shoulders back and lengthen the spine. Let's breathe in. Exhale, come down to our lower back. Find that canoe position, breathe in. And then exhale, hug the knees, relax. Very good, rock those hips side to side, just relaxing here. We're gonna go ahead and start to circle out the knees. 
creating space through the hip sockets here. Reverse direction. And then just bring those knees out towards the shoulders, flex the feet, hold calves, ankles, or feet. Let's find happy baby. Maybe rock a little side to side, pull those feet a little bit, or those ankles, wherever you can reach and feel those inner thighs stretch. Modification for those with tighter hips, you can hold inside the knees and push gently here. And feel free to expand to a full straddle for those of you that are a little bit more open through those hips. Take one more breath in. Great job as we exhale, crossing right leg over left. We're gonna bend the knees and let the knees drop to the left, arms to the right. Just twist out that spine, breathe in. Exhale. Beautiful here, let's slowly come center. Take left leg over right, let those knees drop to the right. Arms go over towards the left. Find that twist, breathe. Exhale, keep that breath going. And last but not least, as we come center, let's find our left ankle crossed over the right and hug that right shin in. Figure four stretch here, or maybe with a straight leg on that right leg if you prefer. Very, very nice. One more breath in. We're gonna uncross that left leg. Reach that foot to the floor or all the way down as we stretch the right leg a little deeper. Then bend into your right knee like half of a happy baby. Plant your left foot down, cross the right ankle over, and we're gonna hug the left thigh in. Same thing, figure four stretch on the right. Maybe rock side to side. Maybe extend the left leg if you wish. And then once you feel ready, we're gonna set that right foot down. Either flat or extended, pull the left leg overhead. Really stretch nice and strong. Don't worry if that leg is here. Wherever it's at, just lengthen and pull. Give yourself a beautiful stretch. One more breath in. Exhale, release that left leg. Let's relax. Let our palms open, eyes close. You've opened up and woken up your body here today. Beautiful job. Just thank yourself for taking this time to care for your body today. Catch your breath, let the effects of all that movement settle in. And take this time to set an intention for your day. Anything you want to let go of, let it go as you exhale. Anything you want to bring more of in your life today, breathe that in as you inhale. And also, create space for gratitude. Find something you're grateful for here today. And just meditate on that for the next three breaths before we come out of Shavasana. overhead legs out in front of us and you're welcome to stay here a little longer but if you're ready exhale release drop those muscles back into the mat walk the feet in give the knees a hug rock a little side to side and you're welcome to rock straight up to sit or to one side press up to sit we're just gonna find a cross leg or a lotus position here roll those shoulders back roll the shoulders forward let the head tip to one side other side and then just let that head gently roll side to side. Let's take one more big breath in. Exhale the palms in front of the heart and namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for yoga today. I hope you guys enjoyed this class and we'll be doing more yoga pilates and dance classes soon so subscribe if you'd like to get notifications of those classes. Thanks for moving with me. Have a beautiful day.